Hi guys, I'm Julien, and I've got a quick question for you. Have you seen The Boys? If that's the case, you're certainly familiar with Frenchie. Well, as a Parisian, I thought it'd be relevant to make a reaction video out of it. If you don't know the TV show in question, it's on Amazon Prime. It started in 2019, and a lot of people are talking about it because the third season came out last summer. If you are curious about it, I would say that it's a very smart criticism of the society through an interesting reflection about what would realistically happen if actual people had superpowers. And the psychological logical development of each character is indeed captivating. But be aware that it's very violent and graphic, maybe a bit too much. But anyway, whether you decided to watch it or not, what I want to talk about today is Serge, better known as Frenchie. Obviously, the character is supposed to be from France. He's portrayed by Tomer Capone, and before saying anything else, I think his acting performance was amazing. It was not an easy role, but I really felt like he understood the essence of the character. Now, when the character was first introduced in the show, I must admit I was totally convinced. I was like, this guy is gonna be French. Not so gay. Serge. Tamer is in fact from Israel, and there are a lot of letters in the French language that English speakers struggle with, but that exists in Hebrew, like the famous letter R. But it's really when he started speaking French that I felt like something was off. I couldn't clearly understand everything he was saying, even more so when I discovered that the character was originally from Marseille, I'll get back to that. But honestly, if I close my eyes, French is French is as good as the deep speaking Japanese. the deep. Yes. Yes, First of all, he calls William Butcher Monsieur le Charcutier. Frenchy. I don't understand where the monsieur comes from because nobody calls him Mr. Butcher, but what I really don't understand is why he would translate the last name. Who does that? It's like calling Hans Zimmer Mr. Room or Angelina Jolie Miss Beautiful. But the part that bugs me the most is the choice of word. I can't figure out why he chose charcutier when a closer translation exists in French, which is boucher. Butcher, boucher. Now, something else that has become the signature expression of the character is mon coeur. Mon coeur. It literally means my heart, and you could definitely use that with your significant other. But he starts using it before anything happens with Kimiko, and since it's not the most popular affectionate word in French, it feels like he uses it too often to sound natural. That's not all. When he says it, sometimes his pronunciation is impeccable, but sometimes it sounds a bit more like mon corps, which actually means my body. Look at you, mon corps. It's very subtle, and most of the people who are not native speakers struggle with the difference. Mon coeur, mon corps. Mon cœur est dans mon corps. Cœur, corps. Heure, or. Heure by itself means the hour, and or is the gold. If you want to hear a native speaker say my heart in his mother tongue, check out Bad Bunny and Bullet Train, it's absolutely worth it. A better option would have been chéri. Chéri, which literally means cherished. But in French, it's used to say honey or darling, and it wouldn't have felt strange to say it as many times as he did, and it would have probably been easier for him to pronounce as well. Finally, it just feels so awkward to randomly spread French words in his sentences. Despite his accent, Serge seems fluent in English. I get that you can sometimes struggle with a word or two. In fact, chances are you don't even know all the words in your native tongue. Think about it. How many times did you have a word at the tip of your tongue without remembering it? But the thing is that he puts very easy words in French that he surely knows in English. And I just don't buy that. Now, back to the topic. I think I exactly know what happened. And I really don't blame Tomer for that. He was just doing his job following the director and producers. In fact, if you take a closer look at the original comic book, you realize that they were trying very hard to stay as close as possible to the paper version. But that's where I was very disappointed. The comic book was mainly focusing on an English market. I can also imagine that publishers have different deadlines, calendars, and budgets. But when a major international streaming platform with a massive budget, we're talking about more than 10 million dollars per episode, wants to make a TV show, that's when it gets insulting. As a comparison, Game of Thrones had on average the same budget, but they hired David J. Peterson to create and coach the actors in speaking Dothraki and Valerian. These are constructed languages that don't even exist in real life. The only people you might offend are a bunch of fans that are not even native speakers. That brings me to my last point. The moment where I was the most disappointed is when I discovered that Frenchie was actually from Marseille. If you've never been to France or if you just don't know anything about the country, you should know that there is a very wide linguistic diversity. And Garth Ennis himself was born in Hollywood, not in California, but in Northern Ireland, or should I say Northern 
and iron, so he should know about regional dialects and linguistic diversity. In the US, the southern accent is often associated with cowboys. Now, Marseille is in the south of France, and the southern French accent is associated with sportscaster, and a lot of people in the country find it very hot and sexy. If you want to have an example of a thick French accent from Marseille, you should check out Bengus. Honestly, he could have been the one chosen for the role. <laughs> If Jason Momoa or Emilia Clarke could speak constructed languages, I'm sure a linguistic coach could have helped Tomer with his pronunciation. But more than the accent, it would have been awesome to have some local expressions. So in conclusion, despite the fact that Amazon Prime made a very successful TV show, they blew an opportunity to promote the diversity of the French culture, and instead they decided to keep feeding the stereotype of a Frenchman that's closer to a Parisian. And in case you didn't know, there is a huge rivalry between Paris and Marseille, so basically the production just insulted the two regions. I was wondering if they were more sensitive with the other languages featured in the show, like Kimiko's brother when he's speaking Japanese. For that, I'll need to ask my colleague Taka. Hey, what's up? Does this sound natural to you? Unfortunately not. I wonder why they didn't switch roles, because even if Karen Fukuhara, the actress who plays uh, Kimiko, was born and raised in California, her Japanese is impeccable. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong, Abraham Lim, the actor who plays her brother Kenji, is understandable, but it's like watching a famous French show like Call My Agent or Lupin on Netflix and have a character that's supposed to be American but who starts speaking with a French accent. I swear to God I was born in Texas, a gun in one end, a hamburger in the other, and I grew up like a cowboy. Not very convincing, right? Despite all that, I can't help but to feel bad for the actors who are criticized because of their accent when they did the best they could. So it might be wiser for everyone to find actors who sound more native and fluent during auditions. And if you're a casting director looking Looking for that, then reach out to my boy Big Bong. Hey man, thank you for the promotion. <laughs> oh man, thank you for the opportunity to be posted on your channel. What did you think about everything I said? I totally agree with you, and there are amazing actors out there who are bilingual or trilingual. I'm thinking about fellow Canadian Michael Mando, who plays Nacho in Better Call Soul. The guy is fluent in French, English, and Spanish, so there are no more excuses from American productions. I was also wondering if Butcher's Cockney accent from Kiwi actor Carl Urban was convincing to British ears. Why are you protecting Soldier Boy? If he'd have slipped me a length, I wouldn't hesitate. I'd throw him to f***ing dogs. Because if that's not the case, maybe the production just wanted to troll the whole world, just like they did with the buzzing fly. That's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I being too harsh? Or did you feel the same way when you were watching the show? If you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon for more videos. Allez, salut!